Hey guys, Hal here. Uh, in this video we're going to be doing a quick overview of all the commands that are available in game through the editor. Uh, we're just going to be doing a quick overview. Any of those that are a bit more advanced or in depth like the import and export stuff I'll do a separate video for. So uh, I've created a new world, made myself admin, done all the basics and we're just going to go through each one. Uh, so the first one on the list is box. Uh, box basically just puts a visible boundary around your claim so you know where the uh, boundary is. Uh, so if we go here and let's just claim this area, test, we can then run bbb box and test and it creates this red transparent box for us handy to know uh, you know what's going to get exported or what you can work up to uh, and still be inside your claim. Uh, so next up is can create. Can create is disabled at the minute uh, because of the new alpha version. I haven't tracked down which window uh, gets to call but basically it means that you can uh, show the create menu even if it's disabled in the server config settings. So admins are still able to get at this. Next up is claim, so that's how you tell the editor there's an area it should be looking at and keep track of. Uh, you do it as we did before uh, by typing bbb claim and then the name of the claim, we called this one test. Uh, and then it, it defines the area around it. You can alter it in the editor, uh, let's just jump over that. So in the backup manager, <coughs> random world. Sorry, this is the <coughs> the source code. I'm in debug mode at the minute. Uh, our world name is demo, and we have my player there. And you can see there, I'm already ticked as an admin, and we have a claim test. And if you wanted to change the size of it, uh, you just alter these values. on update area and then click on save player. So if you go back to the game you should have a nice little message saying reloading complete. Now let's just get rid of the box and show the box again. And you can see the box has got wider. It's no longer a square. Uh, so next up is debug. Uh, I wouldn't worry about that one, that one's just for me, but you can set a debug level for the logging on the server. Uh, so the higher it goes, the more it logs. Uh, most people won't need to know about it uh, unless they're doing some debugging with me uh, on the forums. So the next one is export claim. So this allows you to take this area that's inside the box and put it into a file that you can open in the editor and you run it by going bbbx is the shortcut for export prefab and then just the name of the claim. It thinks about it for a minute, the bigger the claim area the longer it thinks um, but you just got to wait till it shows that message there saying where it's been saved. And if we jump out again and head to the save folder. Uh, inside the save folder there's a new folder created called block backup, that's the editor stuff. Uh, you want users and then you've got to have a look for which one's your user but it's a, a numerical value. And inside there you can see test export and I'll go through loading that into the uh, editor in another video. So what's next? Uh, fill area. So fill area allows you to, you guessed it, fill an area. Let's have an example over here. So say you wanted to take the top bit of this prefab off. You could go to the central area, type BBB, fill area, uh, and 
then a radius, let's go with 20 blocks, and then a height, let's say 20 blocks. And then, as you see, it's filled the area with air. You can also do it with any block type, so uh, if you want it, BVFA is the shortcut, uh, concrete uh, 3 by 2 and then you see it brings in and fills the area with concrete. Uh, the names of the blocks you can get from the editor. So if we just jump over to the prefab editor. It's all these names here. So you find the one you want and you can just use that. up next insert prefab insert prefab will allow you to take a prefab file that you've saved or one that's already around and bring it into the game so if we just head over here and if we say bbb ip is the shortcut we'll go for bar no one uh, if you don't specify a location it will just do it at the player's location and it will be the southwest tip of the prefab that takes uh, the player's position. So there you can see prefab's been loaded in. So if we use uh, fill area oh, it might take a while because it's going 340 blocks up. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Uh, so we've just reset the area there. If we head back to this point, uh, let's find the location. Uh, where am I? Oh, there you go. So let's go to eighty-eight seventy. Go at 85, 70, 100. So, PBB, IP, bar no one, 85, 70, 100. And there you go, it's brought it in at the specified position. And if we just go and reset this again. quicker when you're not doing 300. Uh, and I'll show you the rotation. So you can put rotation at the end of, with a value of 0 to 3. 0 is no rotation, 1 is 90 degrees clockwise, etc. etc. So I'm just going to go with a value of 1, so it should be rotated 90 degrees. And it's thinking about it again. There we go. So as you can see, the barn's been rotated. Let's get rid of that. So, there we go. Uh, so what's next up on the list? Uh, key kill. So uh, if you're running a server and people are putting loads of uh, flames. Uh, keystones around. And you want to get rid of them, you can just type BBB key kill and then a radius around here. It'll go from bedrock to sky when it's doing the search, so you just need to specify a radius. Let's go with 10. Any it finds, it gets rid of. And it also gets rid of the uh, the claim protection in the background. So uh, 
that goes to. Next one is kill. Uh, obviously, it kills whoever you specify. There's no one else online because I'm running single player, but you type BBB kill player name. I've killed somebody called player name. Uh, next up is load, so this comes back to the save and load functions if we head back to the claim. So if we make some changes. In fact, let's do one of the things I quite enjoy doing. DVD, fill area, TNT. One. I need a gun. God damn it. Watch it all fly. So if we wanted to undo that. Uh, we can roll back to the last version of the claim by typing bbb load and then the name of the claim. You see it brings it all back as it was. Uh, if you've made some changes and you want to keep them, uh, so let's use the save command, save test, and then when you load it again, it just remembers that version. So that's saving and loading. Uh, load items. So um, if you are on a server and you want to log off and not leave your items lying around, you can place some containers, put some stuff in there, and then use, well, bbb save items, and then name of the claim, test, and if you look in the chest now, it's empty, so it's taken that information and it's now storing it on the server. Uh, when you come back, when you log in, you can go bbb load items, test and it puts them back for you uh, so next up is mod mode mod mode is a bit similar to um, load and save items but if you're playing on a server and you're uh, actually playing you know you're playing a real game and you're not building stuff and you know, you're not in mod mode and somebody asks for help and you've got to like put all your items away and then go to the creative menu and all the rest of it. Uh, you can just use mod mode and it empties your inventory and just saves everything to the server. So you can go and deal with whatever you need to deal with and then mod mode off. It brings it all back for you. Um, ignore the debug message there. Uh, um, yeah, so that's mod mode. Next up is reload players. We've been through that. That's uh, oh no, we haven't been through that in this video. Uh, so if you've made changes to the server and you just want to refresh the server, uh, you can do bbb rp. Oh, and it failed the reload. Don't know why I did that. Oh yes, I do. Uh, it's because we're in debug mode. If you weren't in debug mode, that would work fine. Um, but all it does is uh, reload all the claim data and all the player data that the editor uh, keeps track of. Oh, sorry, have I killed it?
booting up. Sorry for the interlude there. Um, right, where were we? Mob mode, reload players, uh, save, we've been through, uh, saving and loading the claims, save items, we've been through, saving and loading the items, uh, shields, you've just seen, puts up a shield uh, and kills anything that comes near you. So we go near the zombie and he dies. Find any there we go. Just handy if you're doing video tutorials. Uh, spawn entities that's broken as well, unfortunately. Um, and there's a, a better thing using uh, one of these buttons. Here we go, F6 to bring in stuff. Uh, so don't worry about that one. Teleport uh, is the last one. So if you want to teleport, you can type BBB uh, TP for teleport and 0900. So it's XYZ. X is the east west location. Y is the up down location. And Z is the north south location. Um, minus values for. Um, X is west and minus values for Z is south. Can't have minus values on the Y because it starts at zero. Uh, so if you do that, we teleport to that location. Quite similar to you know, being able to teleport using the right click in debug mode. Uh, where were we? Over here. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Uh, nice quick overview uh, with a small interlude. Uh, yeah, cheers guys.